my name is Marla Donato Parmelee. Um, yes, I've written a book. My book is called Awkward Bitch. Um, <laughs> my life with MS, and it is my story um, of, of pre-diagnosis and diagnosis and life after diagnosis with MS. Um, it's now been six years uh, since I have first saw the, um, the first experiences <laughs> with having MS. Um, yeah, so it has been six years. In that time, a lot of things have happened. Uh, the book, uh, as well as um, a YouTube channel that I have, which is uh, called Tesla Girl M, and Tesla is for the uh, inventor of the radio. Um, a lot has happened. It's very interesting in the world of MS because I think, in some way, I'm lucky in some weird way of being diagnosed at a time when so much is progressing by means of research. Um, and I really think there's a lot of brilliant minds who are in charge of this research, including um, at Barts in London. So I feel uh, very lucky, actually, to know some of these people and to be uh, involved in this. Um, what I, the only thing that I want to do, I think, since it's the end of the day, and especially if you have MS, I'm sure you're bloody exhausted, like I am. <laughs> you probably started out that way, like I did. Um, there's something I was thinking about during this day, uh, because we are, my God, there's so much, there's so much that we learned today. I, I know for me, I thought I knew so much, um, and I learned so much more. Um, and a lot of it is, um, you know, about big numbers. Obviously, in research we, and you know about treatments, we need to know about um, big numbers, and we need we need to know about statistics. Um, and I think what I just want to end the day with is to bring it a little bit back down to the human element. Um, I'm on Tysabri currently, and as I was sitting here today, I was thinking about um, PML which um, obviously I've been well instructed of, of the risks of Tysabri and very well informed. Uh, and I was thinking, hmm, if I died from this, if I, if I got PML and died, that would mean all the books that are in my head at the moment, which is at least two more, uh, would never get written. Uh, there'd be three women who would lose their baby sister There'd be a woman who would lose her youngest child. There'd be a very attractive man in Surrey who said he has met the woman of his life who would lose her. And then I was thinking, you know, it really comes down to, if, if that happened, it would, I would be part of a statistic. Someone in some country would say, oh, another person died from that. And it would be just another number. But it is a story, and I have a story to tell. And everyone here, regardless if you have MS or not, actually, uh, you have a story to tell too, which is why I'm not going to talk too much about my particular MS, because we've all been there. We, we have it at different degrees. We've had different, different signs of it, different um, you know, variations. It doesn't matter. So. We each have a story to tell, which is, um, which is, I think, very important in regards to research. Because living with MS, uh, I think we should really focus on the living part. Actually, I think Giles had mentioned something earlier. Someone had asked a question. He said, live your life. And that's great advice. And that's advice that I often give to people. Um, there are more and more people getting MS all the time. I, I personally do think it is an epidemic proportion. 